In this video, Timmy's going to show you how you can find the password to a Wi-Fi network that your Chromebook is already connected to. So, if you can't remember the password to a Wi-Fi network, but you've already connected your Chromebook to that network in the past, there is a way that you can view that saved password on your Chromebook. Unfortunately, this isn't super easy. Unlike Android phones and some other devices, you can't simply pull it up in the settings. It's actually a fairly long and complicated and kind of weird process. But if it's your only option to find that Wi-Fi password, it can be done. And in this video, Timmy's going to show you how. To get started, you'll first need to make sure the Wi-Fi network is synced with your Google account. So to do this, you'll open the Settings app. Easiest way to do that is click on the time in the bottom right-hand corner and then click this settings icon, and then click on Wi-Fi here, this little arrow next to Wi-Fi up the top. And then you'll need to click on the Wi-Fi network that you want to find the password to. So if you're currently connected to it, you could click on the arrow next to it here, or if you're not currently connected to it and it's not currently within range, but you have been connected in the past, there's this known networks button here and you can click that and you can scroll through a whole list of basically all the Wi-Fi networks your Chromebook has ever connected to. And then you can click on a network like that to bring up really the same menu. And then once you're on the network, you'll need to make sure it says synced with other devices on your account here. So that basically means this saved network is synced with your Google account and you need it to be. If it doesn't say this, if it says it's not synced with your account, you might need to check sync is turned on by going to privacy and security, and then sync and Google services, and then manage what you sync, and then make sure it's either set to sync everything, or it can be on customized sync as long as Wi-Fi networks down here is turned on. But either way, you need to make sure that's turned on so it can sync. If that was turned off, you just need to turn it on and then wait for it to finish syncing. But if sync was already turned on, something like this, and it still says it's not synced, that might mean a different user on your Chromebook actually connected to that Wi-Fi network. So it's not really on your account. This Chromebook just kind of has access to it, so it can't sync to your Google account. So if this has happened, it probably means your Chromebook has multiple different user accounts, and you'll probably need to sign out of this user account and sign into any other user account that you have on the Chromebook and look at the Wi-Fi settings in there. And hopefully in there, you will see the network is synced with the account. So that means you'll have to do everything beyond this point in that account for this network. So you have to be using that user account it's a pretty obscure issue. Most people will probably just have the network synced with their account like this, just like normal already. So most people won't have to worry about that. But if you do have multiple user accounts on your Chromebook, you might just need to switch to the user account that actually connected to the Wi-Fi in the first place. But with that out of the way, once the Wi-Fi network is synced with other devices on your account, you're ready to proceed to the next step. And now we basically need to copy the Wi-Fi network name. So the name of this Wi-Fi network is Tech Time with Timmy Demo. We can see it up here. So we will click and drag across this to highlight all of this and then right click or two finger click on it and click copy to copy that name. You could also just type the name, but you have to make sure you type it perfectly. So it's probably easier to just copy it from here since we're already in here anyway. And now this is where it gets fairly weird. You can't do the rest in settings. You'll need to go into Google Chrome here and you'll need to go to this website, convertstring.com slash encode decode slash hex code, hex encode. So don't try to type that. There'll be a link in the description, It'd be much easier to click on, but you need to come to this website here and there'll be a box here where it says paste the text you wish to hex encode here. So you'll need to click in here and then right click or two finger click and click paste in the menu that appears to paste your Wi-Fi network name in here. Or you could just type it if you want to, but you have to make sure you type it perfectly. 
and you have to make sure there's no spaces before or after it or anything. Make sure it's exactly just the name with nothing else. But this is all good here. And then you'll need to click this button here that says hex in code. So click that button and the page will reload. It might take a second. But now if we scroll down a bit here, we have our hex encoded text here. So this is basically the na Wi-Fi network name, but coded into kind of a different language, really, which is all of this numbers and letters and things here. So now we need to copy this. So we will click and drag right across it here to highlight all of it like that. And then we will right click on it or two finger click on a trackpad and click copy in the menu that appears here. So now we have copied the hex code for our Wi-Fi network name. And now we need to come over to a new tab and go to Chrome colon slash slash sync hyphen internals. Again, there'll be a link to this in the description below. And now in here, this is kind of like a mini website built into Google Chrome, where it gives you a whole lot of data, kind of advanced data about stuff you have synced in Chrome. But in here, you'll need to come over to search here and click on search. And then in this search box here, type Wi-Fi, just the word Wi-Fi, and then click this search button here. And now it will list out all of the saved Wi-Fi networks that are synced with your Google account. But these are all the network names, but it's showing them as hex codes, not as readable text that we would normally read. So you can't really see which is the network you want the password for, but that's why we copied the hex code for our Wi-Fi network, because now we can use a keyboard shortcut by pressing Control and F on the keyboard at the same time to bring up this extra search box here. And now, we can right click in this box and click paste to paste the hex code of the Wi-Fi network name in here. So now somewhere in this long list of Wi-Fi network names, it will highlight the hex code that is the Wi-Fi network we're looking for. So it's very complicated and kind of very weird. But now we know this is the Wi-Fi network we want the password for. And now we can click on this here to bring up all the information about that Wi-Fi network. And it's actually quite small, so we might just zoom in a little bit to make it easier to see. But now in here, we will need to look for where it says passphrase. And then next to that will be the Wi-Fi password. But it's not actually the Wi-Fi password in plain text that you need it. It's actually the Wi-Fi password coded into base 64, which is a completely different code. So now we have to copy this code and convert that into plain text. And then we will know what the actual Wi-Fi password is. So we need to highlight this code here. It's everything in between the quotation marks. So do not include the quotation marks but everything in between the quotation marks like that needs to be highlighted and copied. An easier way is actually to just double click on the password and it will just highlight that for you perfectly. And then we will right click on that and click copy here. And now we need to go over to another website, which is utilities-online.info slash base64. Again, to me, we'll put a link in the description so you can just click on it. And now with that Wi-Fi password copied, we will need to paste it into here by right clicking and clicking paste. And then we can click this decode button here. And now we see our Wi-Fi password typed in normal plain text. So now this is the Wi-Fi net pa password to that Wi-Fi network. So it was quite a long and complicated process, but we now have that Wi-Fi password here so we can read it, type it somewhere else, copy it somewhere, paste it somewhere, do whatever you want to do with it or whatever you need to do with it. You now know what that Wi-Fi password is. It is quite a long, difficult process and you have to make sure you do it all perfectly. 
If you missed one character from one of the codes or something, you could get something completely wrong and weird. So if something has gone wrong, you might just want to double check every step and make sure it was all done right. But if you just take your time and make sure it's all done perfectly, you should have your correct Wi-Fi password here. And that's how it's done. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Sorry it was such a weird process, but hopefully you now have your Wi-Fi password and we might see you in another video in the future.